So we're looking at the construction of the basic plate, which is up in this corner. And the first step we need to do is block in our layout, or we would say blocking the drawing. Okay, so we're going to start with, I'm going to start with the blue as my construction line. All right, so I'm going to go based off of proportions on what it is I'm seeing. So, like I said, actually, let me do, let's just do light. So, my proportions, I'm going to go with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, I'm going to go with 11 units high and actually 10 units high. And 11 units wide. Okay. Actually, let's go with 12. All right, if we look at our shape, it is not quite rectangular, so I'm going to go with 11 instead. Right, so we're constructing out first all horizontal and vertical lines. So we're going to need the initial shape. We look at our drawing, we have a shape happening here. We have the neck of it. Right, it's about here, so I'm going to go halfway in. And then I'm going to go about this much high. All right. Try this in a bit. So we have that initial shape. So then I'm going to just start blocking in where my first initial circles should go on my arc. So there's an arc that goes here. Uh, there will be an arc here. All right, I'll straighten that out. And then the diameter of my circle is going to be here, so I'm going to pull up some construction line there and a construction line here. All right, I'm not going to do the inside of it. I'm going to start with just the outer parts of it first. So we need to put in our diagonal. So again, based off of the direction that this is going in, we're placing in our diagonals. We go in with our sheet of paper. We mark off our radius, right, radius, uh, to give us some more, nope, I just did the wrong thing. So our radius, remember, it's always based off of the height of the square. So this is our radius. Right, I can give myself another guy to work with in between here and here. Right, so I'm going to pull my guide. I'll do the same thing here again. Mark it off here. You actually saw I forgot to put in my, my mark on the actual diagonal in the other one. Right, so we're going to come here. Okay. Now I can define this. I'm going to come down heavier with my object line. But we do have an arc that's happening over here. If we do look at our base plate, right? So if we do look at our base plate, we do have an arc that is happening um, around here. So I'm going to estimate where I think that is, and it's going to be somewhere about here. So that's one and a half units, and then so it should end here, 
and I'm going to place my diagonal. Now again, remember if you're doing your sketch, it's going to be all in pencil. So we we'll mark up our radius again for this. And we'll mark it up here. Actually, I'm going in the wrong direction. Pay attention to what direction the arc is going in. So we're going this way instead from this corner this way. Right, and we're going to come around as close as possible. And I'm going to connect my two tangent points. Okay, next we're going to create our arc here. So we're going to go in with our diagonal again. These would be construction lines when you're putting them in. We mark off our radius. Okay, and again, we put in our mark. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to come in with a very light line to get the shape of my arc. All right, now I can define this with my construction, sorry, with my object line. Okay, and I'm going to define here as well. Define there as well. All right, my arc actually looks like a very hairy line right there, so we're just going to go over that again. Okay, now we have the detail that's happening on the inside of it, right? So we wanted to create that the squares needed inside. So our square is going to be falling somewhere in between because it's not too close. So now my radius is going to be one and a half. So I want to make sure that I'm one and a half this way as well. And we're one and a half this way. Okay. I will continue doing the rectangle piece to create this appearance as well. So I'm going to come out here and here. Okay, and then I'll stop it here. So let's deal with the larger circle first. If we look at our construction, you see that we actually do have that piece that's happening there. The only difference is we did not add the line here because we really don't need it if we think about it. So we're going to go back now and we're going to construct our arc. Again, I'm going to mark off my radius of my new circles. All right, so that's my new radius. And I'm going to make a mark here, make a mark here. And again, light lines, create my arc. Right, I can define them once I think it's good. We have double lines here. We don't want that. So we want to make sure we have one initial line happening. One continuous line. All right. Now we do the same thing again on this side. Again, is this our radius? Yes, it was. Mark up our radius. And we're going to go in very lightly with this arc. 
And the same thing on this side as well. Okay, so if we look at our image, the circle does not go all the way. This piece actually starts. So where this piece starts, that's this here, just to create our construction. Some tangent point go down to where that connects. Right? Now we can define the rest of our shape. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing here again for our diagonal, our diagonal, we get the radius, we mark it off, then we go diagonal, diagonal. So we have our construction of our basic plate. And we're going to just erase these just a little bit. Right, the lines we don't need, we just have to lighten them up. If your construction lines are light enough, you actually don't need to erase them. But if they're dark, like your object line, then you would need to erase them. So I'm going to just define this as well. The other line that you're seeing is something called a center line, like what I talked about before. And the center line is made up of long and short lines. So I'm going to start with a short line in the center, and I'm going to extend out past my tangent point. Right? So it's long line, short line, long line. When they overlap, they identify the center of our circle. And the center line is also an invisible line. What? So, this is the finished drawing of our basic 